Welcome back. In this video, we will explore the first Flexbox property, which is Flex. The Flex property plays a crucial role in defining how much of a view will fill the screen along the main axis. It accepts an integer value greater than or equal to zero, indicating the fraction of the available space the component should occupy. Let's head back to VS Code and understand this better with a few examples. Before we dive into the examples, it's essential to note that in CSS for the web, you need to specify display flex to turn a div block into a flex container. However, in React Native, the view component is automatically set to display flex by default. So in our case, the view container is already a flex container and the boxes inside are considered flex items. Now, for our first example, I will comment out the entire view and replace it with a simple view that has an inline style. This view component has a background color of plum. If we take a look at the devices, we won't see the view because by default, the view component only occupies enough space to accommodate its children. As our view component has no children, it occupies no space. However, if you want the view to take up the entire available space, we can add the flex property and set it to a value of one. When we do this and check the two devices, we can see the plum colored background now occupies the entire available space. And this is a common approach in React Native apps, adding a view component and setting the flex property to one to occupy all available space. If this makes sense, let's move on to example two. For the second example, let's work with the code that we set up in the previous video. If we save the file and take a look at the devices, we can see the space occupied by the flex container. It is indicated by this red border. And this confirms our understanding that the flex container takes up space only required by its children. In this case, the container takes up space needed for the seven boxes. To ensure the container occupies the entire available space, which is basically the extra space at the bottom, on the container styles, set flex to one. Take a look at the UI. And we see the container now occupies the entire available space. It might not be as evident on iPhone because of the rounded corners, but on an Android device, we can clearly see the border takes up the available space. Please keep in mind that the space at the top is intentional to avoid the notch and is a result of this margin top property. Now, it is important to understand that the flex property is not limited to the flex container. It is also applicable to flex items. Let's look at the third example. We will add flex one to the first box component. If we check the UI, we can see that the first box now occupies all the available space within the container. However, it is important to recognize that the flex value indicates the fraction of available space the component should take up. For the second box, when we set flex to one again, both box one and box two now equally share the available space between them, taking up 50% of the available space each. If we set flex one on the third box, The first three boxes each take up 33% of the available space. The value, of course, can be greater than one, which can result in uneven distribution of the available space between the items. Let's look at example four. We will remove the flex property from the third box and instead set flex to three on box two. Now the available space is divided into one plus three which equals four parts. Box one takes one fourth, which is 25% of the space. 
and box 2 takes 3 by 4 which is 75% of the available space. When we observe the UI, we can clearly see that box 2 is 3 times larger than box 1. Boxes that don't have the flex property will continue to take up space as dictated by the box model properties. I hope you now have a solid understanding of the Flex property in React Native. To summarize, in React Native, a view component has display flex by default. When you set flex 1 on a container, it takes up the entire available space. If you set flex on an item, it takes up a fraction or percentage of the available space, which could be 100% or a lesser amount depending on how the available space has been divided. Alright, thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel for more React Native content and I'll see you in the next one.